This video is all about your questions, all the questions you had about this GE Profile Oven. So we had done a previous video where we installed the oven and we did a basic review of it. And out of that, you all had some additional questions. So we felt it would be a good idea to record a follow-up video. Now, if you haven't seen that video, there's gonna be a link around here somewhere where you can go and check that out. But otherwise, let's go ahead and jump into it. We had some comments about the seam clean feature of this oven. And uh, there's some comments about whether or not it works very well or if it's maybe a little bit gimmicky. And I have to say, based off of our experience, that it is a little bit gimmicky. All you have to do in order to make the steam clean feature work is pour some water into the bottom of the oven and then turn on the steam clean feature on the oven. And it's supposed to clean everything really well inside the oven, um, but in our case, it doesn't. So uh, if you have things that are baked on or things that have spilled over in the bottom of the oven, things like that, um, it doesn't do a super great job of getting those things clean. Now, I will say we don't clean our oven all the time. Maybe if we cleaned it every week or so, it might be a good option but at the same time, we find ourselves just cleaning it normally. So um, while it may be okay, it might work for some people, we haven't found that it works very well for us. We had a question about whether or not the outside of the oven got really hot or if it's still safe to touch. And um, in our experience, it's been fine. I mean, it will get warm to the touch, just like any oven will when you're using it, but it's not like overly hot. So um, it's pretty standard, pretty typical in our experience. We had another question about how easy this is to clean. And honestly, it's pretty typical for a glass top uh, cooktop. So if you have a spill or something like that and you can wipe it up right away with the towel, um, you're not gonna have to do a whole lot of cleaning on the oven. Sometimes you will get some baked on residue that you'll have to get off. We like to use a product called Ceramibrite and that does a really good job of cleaning just any glass top uh, cooktop surface. Um, the other question might be more around this front panel, how you clean this off. Uh, instead of just, you know, the cooktop area. But this glass panel, all it is is really, it's just, it's just a normal piece of glass. So the way we end up cleaning it off is just by using some Windex or a rag, depending on how clean we want it to be. Um, and then we just, you know, clean it like we would any piece of glass. Had a question if there was a border around the cooktop to prevent spills from running down the side of the oven, uh, or if it was flush with the countertop. And it is flush with the countertop, as long as you install the oven properly. Um, but uh, as far as preventing spills or anything like that from running down the sides, uh, there's nothing to prevent that. So if that's a concern for you, um, just know that it's a flush look, it's flush to the counter. And uh, we ended up, choosing this partly for that reason because it is a nice aesthetic look it, it looks really uh clean as as far as an oven is concerned but um if you're concerned about you know anything running down the side then they do make these silicone borders that you can purchase for any oven and install those and that can help kind of keep all of the uh, spills contained speaking of sides we had the question about whether or not the sides are finished to where you can install this oven you know, at like the end of a run of uh, cabinets or at the end of a countertop or something like that without having to install an end panel. And I guess the answer to that is it really depends on what your preference is. Um, the sides of the oven are finished. They're more of an, like an epoxy gray and they've got a texture to them like you would see like a normal appliance, like a refrigerator or something like that. So they aren't covered in stainless steel or anything like that that would make it you know, like look really, um, really appealing if you're gonna install it in that type of a situation. Um, but the sides look okay. So um, take that for what it's worth. Probably the biggest question we received was about the air fryer. Now, this specific model has an air fryer option and like all GE, GE appliances, they have different models that look very similar, uh, but can have different features. So this one happens to have the air fryer option. Uh, and basically how that works is you would just uh, hit air fry. I'll just go ahead and do that. And then you would hit start. And then it says oven is preheated and you can put your food in. Now, while that sounds great, basically what happens is it just turns on a fan in the back. So it's like, Basically, in our opinion, it's like a normal convection oven in that way. There isn't anything super special about the air fry option. Like it doesn't come with an air fryer basket or anything like that. It does have this feature to it. You might find it useful, but in our case, um, we haven't had that much use for it. We had a question about how loud the oven is, so we tested it. This is how loud it is in our kitchen right now. So about 37, 36, 37. Now if we turn the oven on to heat it, All right, and with it on, it's 38. Now let me step out of the way even, so I'm not blocking the sound. It's a little bit louder, but really it's really quiet. Let me put this right up to it and we'll see what it is. So that's about what it is right at the oven itself. So it's really quiet. 
I had a question about the temperature probe and how that works. So basically it includes a temperature probe that you can plug into a port inside the oven and then the other end goes into uh, you know, like beef or chicken or whatever as you're cooking it in order to see what the temperature is inside of that. Now the other thing that comes with that is the ability to check the temperature with the oven itself. So you can set a specific temperature um, on the oven as it cooks. So that way when the meat is done, the oven will let you know and you'll know everything is perfectly cooked. There's a question on how to set the clock, and so I'll show you how to do that right now. As far as setting the clock, all you have to do is go to settings, hit the number one for clock, and then hit the number one for set clock. All you have to do then is just enter the time, which right now it's 11.06, and then we hit start or enter, and then we say it's AM, and that's it. Now, if you have a microwave with the Chef Connect option as well, what's gonna happen then is once you set it on the stove, your microwave will be perfectly in sync as well. So that's a feature we absolutely love. Probably the biggest question of all is whether or not we would purchase this again. And I'd have to say the answer is yes. We've been very happy with this stove. Uh, we really enjoyed having it in our kitchen. It looks really, really nice and it does a really good job cooking our food for us. So if we had to be in the market again for another stove, we would definitely check this one out again and give it a serious consideration. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.